Hello there everyone, I'm MC. I'll be discussing about the diodes with special purposes. Well, except for the Xenon diode, because I'm sure all the students know about that already. In fact, I'll be discussing about the other diodes, and you'll get to know them a bit more. So let's start, shall we? A varactor diode is a type of diode which has a variable capacitance. It is operated under reverse biased condition, hence no current flows. However, since the thickness of the depletion zone varies with the applied bias voltage, the capacitance can vary. In other words, the capacitance is inversely proportional to the square root of the voltage applied to the diode. Varactor diodes are widely used within the RF industry. They provide a method of varying the capacitance within a circuit by the application of a control voltage. This gives them an almost unique capability. They can be applied within two main areas. The voltage controlled oscillators, which is used for a variety of applications. One major area is for the oscillator within a phase locked loop, used in almost all radio, cellular, and wireless receivers. RF filters which may be needed in receiver front end circuits where they enable the filters to track the incoming received signal frequency. Typically, this might be provided under microprocessor control through a digital to analog converter. The light emitting diode. A light emitting diode or LED is a diode that gives off a visible light when forward biased. These diodes are not made from silicon or germanium, but are made by using elements like gallium, phosphorus, and arsenic. By varying the quantities of these elements, it is possible to produce light of different wavelengths with colors that include red, green, yellow, and blue. For example, when a LED is manufactured using gallium arsenide, it will produce a red light. If the LED is made with gallium phosphide, it will produce a green light. In theory, when light emitting diode is forward biased, the electrons from the n-type material across the p-n junction and they combine with the holes in the p-type material. Recall that these free electrons are in the conduction band and at a, very, and at a higher energy level than the holes in the valence band. When recombination takes place, the recombining electrons release energy in the form of heat and light. In germanium and silicon diodes, almost the entire energy is given up in the form of heat and the emitted light is insignificant. However, in materials like gallium arsenide, the number of photons of light energy is sufficient to produce quite intense visible light. This figure shows the schematic symbol for a, L for a LED. The arrows are shown as pointing away from the diode, indicating that light is being emitted by the device when forward biased. Although LEDs are available in several colors, the schematic symbol is the same for all LEDs. There is nothing in the symbol to indicate the color of a particular LED. This figure shows the graph between radiated light and the forward current of the LED. It is clear from the graph that the intensity of radiated light is directly proportional to the forward current of LED. A photodiode is a type of diode which converts light into current. The current is generated when photons are absorbed in the photodiode. It can even produce a tiny amount of current even if no light is present. Photodiodes contain optical fibers, filters, built-in lenses, and have variable surface areas, whether big or small. Photodiodes usually have a slower response time as their surface area increases. A photodiode is designed to operate in reverse biased condition. The common traditional solar cell used to generate electric solar power is a large area photodiode. Photodiodes are used in consumer electronics devices such as CD players, smoke detectors, and the receivers for infrared remote control devices used to control equipment from televisions to air conditioners. Photodiodes are often used to measure light intensity in science and industry. 
They are also widely used in various medical applications such as detectors for computed tomography, instruments to analyze samples, and pulse oximeters. The tunnel diode is a very fast diode which can operate well into the microwave radio frequency region. Unlike any other diode, the depletion layer in it is extremely narrow. It uses a quantum mechanical effect called tunneling. When a forward voltage is applied to a tunnel diode, a very narrow stream of electrons forces its way across and through the PN junction. Despite not being used that much nowadays, these devices are widely used within the RF industry. They were used in television receiver front end oscillators and oscilloscope trigger circuits. They have been shown to have a very long life and very high performance when used as an RF preamplifier. However, today, their applications are often limited because more traditional tri-terminal devices show better performances in many areas than the tunnel diode. Tunnel diodes can be also used in microwave and RF power monitors, ALC loops, and zero-biased detectors. Since they are more resistant to nuclear radiation, Tunnel diodes are used in space applications like amplifiers for satellite communications. A Schottky diode is a type of diode which has a low forward voltage drop and a very fast switching action. The voltage drop, which is lower than any normal diode, provides better system efficiency and higher switching speed. It occurs across the diode terminals when current flows through a diode. In a Schottky diode, a semiconductor metal junction is formed between a semiconductor and a metal, thus creating a Schottky barrier. Schottky diodes are useful in voltage clamping applications and prevention of transistor saturation. They are used in standalone photovoltaic systems in order to prevent batteries from discharging through the solar panels at night, as well as in grid connected systems containing multiple strings connected in parallel. Schottky diodes are also used as rectifiers in switched mode power supplies. These are the topics explained in this video. That's all for now. 